everybody's boat mm. with the unemployment rate of Latinos falling in the most recent month, La um, of women falling how about, how in the about last African month. American, right? People with just high school educations Rick falling in the last month. It is their job to remind people, hey, 90% of you out there working are seeing bigger paychecks this year than you did because of the tax reform. They better do oh. that going into right. the midterms, Dagan, right. because they're not getting that from the mainstream media. All of the um, concerns that John raised are legitimate, but I think it's fair to say that economists through this administration have consistently been lagging indicators. Yeah. Uh, they don't see it until it's already biting them in the butt, and then they inch up, but they don't quite ever catch up. This is a climb a wall of worry, yeah. rising market. I would be much more concerned if the consensus were for perpetual rosy future. That's when I would start to be very nervous. All right, we'll leave it there. John, great to see you. Thanks. So obviously Fox News is very uh, pro-Trump, and they do believe that the quality and the tax reform has been improving for the average Joe. But I would say to the contrary, you know, uh, housing is still unaffordable. Wages haven't really gone up. And it's really interesting that, you know, because uh, interest rates are so low, really savers have not been uh, benefiting. Um, and that's what really is attractive to crypto. So uh, if this uh, income gap can continues to increase and if more and more people are getting upset with the fact that they're uh, you know, living paycheck to paycheck and that uh, the debt, uh, the government keeps racking up debt to allow uh, large corporations to benefit, um, and what's interesting, those tax cuts, they are going to sunset. So the people that make less than 80000 are obviously going to end up going back to paying actually higher taxes, which Fox doesn't going to mention. But all of this, like I said, if the administration is right and we continue with strong uh, stock market growth, they're right. Um, uh, people will probably re put Trump back into office in 2020. And like I said, I don't know if crypto will be as, as an attractive of, a, of an asset class because that means you know the U.S. stock market will be good, um, and with the r rising interest rates too, people might consider putting money into bonds. Um, so uh, commodity prices could go up and the dollar could get weaker, but I don't see that. So uh, long term, it could be that crypto might have to wait until there's a uh, stock market collapse and uh, a bond market collapse. And you know the way that Fox News is talking about if this growth continues and everyone has great you know, benefits from these tax reforms, uh, there's not gonna be as much interest in crypto investing. So let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you soon.